Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Jen. And this is Hybrid at Home. Hey everyone, welcome to Hybrid at Home. My name is Sean and this is Jen. Hybrid at Home is a program for you to do in the safety and privacy of your own home. Our core mission here at Hybrid Fitness is to help people achieve their health and fitness goals, improve your performance, and basically we want everyone to live better. So if that's you and you enjoy these home workouts and you want to reach out to us and learn more or come on into the gym and join into, into some classes, please do so. Okay, so uh, as I said, these workouts are for you at home, so we hope you enjoy them. Equipment wise, you don't need anything except a backpack and somewhere to be able to row your body. Okay, so that could be chairs, a rail or something like that. But we'll explain that when those sort of things come into the program. Today, all you need is your body, okay? So, for the warm up today, we're going to do a five minute piece, okay? The first minute of that five minute piece is one minute of cardio of your choice. It could be running, it could be skipping, it could be step ups, it could be a simple walk 30 seconds and walk back for 30 seconds. When you get back in the remaining time of that five minutes, which is going to be four minutes, we're going to do 10 glute bridge ups, all right, where we're going to lay flat on our back, just as Jen is demonstrating here. We're gonna drive the lower back in the ground and then we're gonna drive our hips to the ceiling, squeezing our glutes or bottom at the top. After we do that, guys, we're gonna stand on up. We're gonna do 10 alternating lunges. So we're gonna step forward, take a knee, and then we're gonna twist, all right, side to side, and then come back to center. With that twist, keep your hands in the center of the chest so we're rotating through the shoulders and through the waist. So once you finish your one minute, cardio of your choice, you do as many rounds in the remaining time of four minutes of 10 glute bridge ups and then 10 alternating lunges with twists. All right, you might get through it three times, you might only get through it two. Work at a level that is applicable to you. So that's our warm up today. Now, session number one, we're going to go through this two times if you can. If two times seems too much for the level you're at the moment, do it one time through. We're going to do three three minute work pieces, okay, so three sets. On the first set, we're gonna do as many rounds as possible in three minutes of 10 air squats. Feet shoulder width apart, chest up, just driving those hips back and down. When we go down, guys, make sure the knees are tracking over the toes. So think, drive knees out, do not let your knees collapse in, keep the chest nice and high. From there, we're gonna hit 20 mountain climbers. So we're gonna come into a push-up position. We're running the knees to the chest. So 20 reps, will be 10 alternating reps, okay, on each side. So each time you do a rep, rep, one, two, three, all the way to 20. Moving on to set two, guys. So after that minute rest, we're on to set two, another three minute AMRAP. So we do the work as many times as we can in three minutes. That's 10 push-ups. So we're gonna start on our knees with the push-ups. With the push-up, keep the body tight. So squeeze the butt, squeeze the belly, hands just outside the chest. Chest comes down to the imaginary line between your thumbs. Now, if you've got the strength to go onto your toes, please do so, but remember with the toe push-up, the midline needs to be strong. No sagging hips, all right, and keep the head still. So brace the core nice and tight. Once you do the 10 push-ups, it's 20 pup shoulder taps. So up into push-up plank position, which means pup, or is the acronym pup. We're going to hold a push-up plank position and we're going to tap opposite shoulders for 20 reps, okay? With this, guys, we want to make sure that our hips are keeping stable and we're not moving and rocking through the hips. So we're looking at that core strength where we're not rotating through the core. Another minute rest after that, three minutes of work. And then set three is another as many rounds as possible in three minutes of 10 dead bugs and 20 glute bridges. Now the dead bugs can be a tricky exercise to start with. Okay, make sure we push our lower back into the ground. We've got arms up, legs up, and we're extending opposite limbs, okay? So at first, if you're struggling with it, I suggest maybe just do the legs and then slowly bring the arms in as you get more comfortable, okay? So you're gonna do 10 dead bugs, and then we're gonna do the 20 glute bridges that we looked at in the warm up, or we performed in the warm up. So again, we're gonna put our back on the ground, feet just outside the hips, feet in close to the hips, push the lower back in the ground, then drive your hips to the ceiling, okay? At the top, try and squeeze your glutes so you're getting full extension of the hips. When you come back down, make sure you're setting your lower back on the ground again so we're in that position where we're working the glutes and not the lower back. All right, guys, that is your at-home workout session number one. Have fun with that. As I said, if you need to uh, reach out and ask any questions, please contact us here at Hybrid Fitness Grafton. Thank you.